<clears throat> okay, let's try a problem like this. Um, how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are in each one of these ions? So, um, if you remember uh, this sort of uh, symbolism where you've got the atomic number here, uh, the mass number here, um, the elemental symbol here, and the charge of the particle here. And remember, only ions have charges um, that are shown. Um, and so uh, a lot of times uh, you won't be given this information down here because it's redundant information like we've talked about, of course, um, with the elemental symbol and the atomic number. It doesn't ever change. But anyways, um, because the number of protons defines what element you are. Anyways, uh, the number of protons is uh, the atomic number. So just write that one down pretty easily, 19, 16, and 12. Right. So uh, the electrons don't account for any of the mass of the atom. Uh, as far as the mass number is concerned. Um, so what we do is we say uh, the number of neutrons is the mass number minus the atomic number. And in this case, it's going to be um, 39 minus 19, uh, which is 20. Uh, 32 minus 16 is 16. And uh, 24 minus 12 is 24. Or, is 12. Um, the, this is, um, the mass number is an uh, interesting um, way to define it because you actually define um, the actual uh, nuclear particle when we start talking about nuclear chemistry or whatever as like potassium 39. Uh, so you are going to define different isotopes. Um, we've talked about isotopes already in the last chapter. So um, if you recall, um, potassium 39 means that it's got the mass number 39. So there could be different isotopes that have different numbers of neutrons um, of these particular atoms. But anyway, so the number of electrons would be the same number of protons if the atom was um, neutral, but these are not. So in this case, remember, electrons are negatively charged, so in this case, it's lost an electron, because we got a positive 1, so it's 18. In this case, since it's a negative 2, it's gained 2 electrons, so it's also 18. And this one has lost 2 electrons, so it's 10. And what you'll notice, all of these electrons are the noble gas configuration, um, or should be. Um, anyways, if you got main group elements, that is. Okay, so hopefully that answers that question. We'll do the other part of the question in a separate video.